Another question you may ask yourself is why wouldn't I just do a loan modification or refinance and just keep my house? If you want to keep your house, a loan mod or refi is the way to go if you can get approved. Just keep in mind that if you do get approved for the loan modification or refinance, now you're paying much more for the property than what it's worth in interest and fees, especially if you already owe more on the house than what it's worth. So all you're doing is adding interest and fees on top of interest and fees. Whereas in a short sale, it doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't negatively affect your credit like a loan modification or foreclosure, and you get a fresh start. You get a second chance to do it all over again. To initiate a short sale as a homeowner, you have to be 100% cooperative and work with the bank. So what does that mean? The bank is going to require a checklist of documents to approve the short sale. All of these documents have to be impeccable and furnished upon request. Some documents have to be updated on a weekly, bi-weekly, and even monthly basis. 